Yo soy el Versena Sosa, and this is what is decent. But before we answer that question, we probably should be answering the question, why vSAN? Why go to the trouble of creating a new protocol, a storage protocol, when you already have Fabi Chino, Block Level, iSCSI, and NFS, right? And they work well. They are really good at what they do. So why bother with a new one? And the reason is rather simple, especially if you're in operations. You see, when you have a virtual machine running on an ASXi host, the virtual machine is in a data store, which is backed by either a LUN or an NFS data store. In either way, whatever storage services this VM is consuming from your storage solution, those services have to be predefined on the storage end. For example, you want to have RAID protection, well, then that LUN has to be configured for, let's say, RAID 5. But and, and that's okay, that works great. But the challenge becomes, what if you have another VM with its VM decay? And that VM, it's a database per se, it's running a database, it requires RAID 6 protection. In that case, you cannot really drop this new VM onto that existing data store because it has been backed by RAID 5. So your alternative is to create another data store create another one, and you put that VM in that new data store. But that new data store has to be backed by a different storage LUN. Or, again, NFS, which would then on the back end be protected by that RAID 6 solution. So you see, there is the, the unit of service, or the configuration for the services, is not done on a per VM level. It's done at the LUN level. And if you're a storage administrator and you're dealing with this, this requires you to pre-configure all this in advance. And you don't always know what all you're going to be needing to consume when it comes to storage, like how much, how big do you make the loan up front? Um, so this is one of the biggest challenges for it. Now, that seems like one problem, but a second problem that occurs because of this is that because you have to pre-configure everything, if the business has a need to provide a new application, short notice, they need it yesterday, as it is the case today. Most businesses need things yesterday. You usually have to wait for the array or whatever your storage solution is to be prepared to provide you that storage service that you need, uh, which is going to take time. So vSAN was put together or created so that you migrate the need of having the services configured on the storage side of the house and you put it on the VM store side of the house with something that VMware calls SPBM, which stands for Storage, storage Policy Based Management. Um, by having the ability of setting policy or services for storage directly on the VM, it allows you to speed up the consumption of the storage services by the VM. So now when the business comes back and says, hey, we need this, we have this business need, and the developer says we need to deploy this application, waiting for the storage administrator to provide you those storage services is no longer required. All you need to do is tell vSphere, for this VM, I need the equivalent of RAID 5 or RAID 6 protection, and voila, vSphere does this automatically for you. So what is vSAN? vSAN is an object-based in-kernel storage solution that allows you to provide a storage on a per VM basis. So vSAN runs in-kernel in each of the ESXi hosts in that cluster. And all of those hosts will have a single data store, your vSAN data store, that can provide you or all of your storage services on a per VM level. So if you have a VM on this host with its VM decay, and that VM requires, requires RAID 5 protection or equivalent to it, that VM can be stored in the data store, vSAN data store. You can have a second VM in any host in the cluster, and this one requires RAID 0. Maybe it's not that important to you. you. You have 20 of those, so losing one it doesn't matter to your application. 
WM can also reside on the same visa and data store. And there is no longer the need to be pre-configuring your storage with the different storage services so that you can make this happen. Something about, about what is vSAN as well, besides that it's object storage, which we're covering in another video, is that vSAN is distributed. So from the ESXi host perspective, they send stuff to the vSAN data store, and then the vSAN algorithm will be smart enough that will determine where and which of the hosts in that cluster the data for that VM will be stored. As long as your SPVM for that VM does not get violated. Now, for the distributed component, you will need a network. So each of your hosts that are part of your vSAN cluster need to connect to a network and they need to have layer three connectivity between each other. No need for multicast, just regular IP unicast. vSAN supports one gig or 10 gigs or 40 gigs or however fast you want to make it. vSAN works with all of those. Now, which of those you will use? There is a slight dependency on the type of storage um, that you use, which is in a disk group. There is a hybrid and an old flash, and we will be discussing that in a future video. Thank you for watching, and I oversend a Sosa. Awesome.